after discussing all the four courses starting with annamaya kosha pranamaya kosha then manomaya finally vigyanamaya kosha now few verses talks about anandamaya kosha so let us read आनंद प्रतिबिंबचुंबित तनुवृति स्तमोचुंबित सैदानंदमय प्रियादिगुणक श्रेष्ठाथलाभोदय पुण्यसुभवे विभाति कृति नानंद सर्वो नंदति यत्र साधु तनुमात्र प्रयत्न विना So here the definition itself changes. As we see, the word mayat generally in annamaya, pranamaya, manomaya, including vijnanamaya. So they are. Maya means modification. So we say Maya Bikare. So it is modification of Anna, modification of Prana, modification of Mana, modification of Vijnana. So now can you say here that it is modification of Ananda? No. So here Maya means Prachuriya. Abundance. So this is the difference. Straight away happens. So Ananda Maya Kosha means it's not a modification of joy, but because in modification what happens? There is changes. Like the milk modifies into curd. The food. Gross food becomes what? When we start biting and chewing, then it becomes the rasa juice. Then blood. So there is a modification. There is a change. So ananda maya kosha we cannot call as is maya modification of ananda, but is abundance of ananda joy. And of course, this, uh, you see what is that? How is it possible? Priyadi guna kaha. So that means priya, moda, and pramoda. So it has got three attributes. So the page. So you can say priya, moda, and pramoda. Priya means that which is dearer to you. So best example always is being given. This mango example. So when the mango comes in the market, already mango is getting over a cup. Today mango was today mango also was good, equally good. So <laughs> it came out. <laughs> so how many of you have missed? What can we do? Those who are outside India, they have missed. Okay, but I think some of them must have got it. Okay, like Singapore, they must be getting regularly somehow or other. So however, so also in Italy also they started getting local mango. <coughs> Coming back. So seeing. the mango or getting the news of mango that is available in the market or in your garden or whatever that gives you a joy a happiness so that is called priya now what you do now you buy or you pluck now you are holding the mango in your hand wow so nice so fragrance that is called moda because there is a gradation okay 
now you want to eat at the moment you eat that is called pramoda so in short in the ananda in the joy so there is a gradation so priyadi guna kaha with the attributes and of course says beautifully so if this is the case swe ishtartha labodaya this is one thing how it happens how do you become happy when you labodaya when you come across the object of desire when you get by gaining your desired object and of course punyasya anubhave vibhati suppose you get your object of desire but there is no punya now this priya moda pramoda already i am in pramoda stage almost okay moda is over with reference to mango example so mango is in my hand just i am about to eat smelled everything is done okay but there is no guarantee so that's why he says beautifully punyasya anubhave vibhati iti and for whom krutina so krutina means those who are fortunate those who have done something good only they can experience and what because of their punya because of their good deeds how you are holding the mango everything is perfect suddenly you know you have a devil in your hand called telephone so you receive a telephone call that somebody is sick or your dear one is something or other or some bad news what will happen will there be any pramoda <laughs> yes there will be pramada not pramoda okay <laughs> Same. Instead of pramoda, it become pramada. So you start counting, start projecting. So that means to enjoy, you need to have punya phala. That's why you can see many people. This is what I see very carefully. They don't enjoy life, even though they have everything. so when you have everything and not able to enjoy it means you don't have that much punya phala so only punya phala makes you to enjoy because that is what really gives you this experience and interestingly it says look ananda pratibimba chumbita tanu tamo jumbita satiti anandamaya so this anandamaya kosha again what is it called ananda pratibimba so ananda pratibimba is sat chit ananda is me my nature so this ananda aspect means the happiness aspect so this is the reflection of me and that me is what ananda so that means it is reflection of me remember vigyana maya kosha also equally reflection very close we discuss that they are the chit aspect so here the ananda aspect but he says look very close chumbita tanu and what is that chumbita tanu very close like as though it is touching very softly but unfortunately this vritti tamo chumbita this is the destruction part okay so this modification of the thought is due to what tamas <laughs> so this priya moda pramoda including this also that is again is related to tamas so in short ananda maya kosha whatever happiness we get that is related to tamas and of course this ananda rupa swayam sarvanandati in fact if you observe this point look 
everybody, not a single person who doesn't agree with this concept. Everybody spontaneously feels very happy. In fact, if you look at here in this case, you discover without very nicely says yatra sadhu tanubhut matra prayatna veena nandati without putting much effort just being with that one feels happy comfortable and the best example is sleep that's why nobody wants to miss a sleep you can skip a food one day including great great people so fasting is allowed but not sleeping is allowed okay <laughs> because imagine one or two days if you don't in fact when you do fasting that day you get better sleep have you not observed <laughs> First day you will feel uncomfortable, then slowly sleep will take over. Ah. So how? Uh, so this is what? This. Then let us read. Next. Ananda Mayakosa Sya Suttopto Spruti Rutkata Shupna Jagara Yorisha Ishta Sandarshan Adinam says beautiful. This Anandamaya Kosa has got its own problem. Limitations. How? Anandamaya Kosa Shya Shushukta Hu Spruti Utkatta. So this Anandamaya Kosa. In deep sleep is manifested completely fully. So that means it delivers the hundred percent of its effect during deep sleep. Whereas what about sopna and jagar? What about dream and waking state? Yes, yes it does its own job, okay? Or else you will not dream also. Many people become very happy in the dream. In fact, children are more better all the time, you know. If you want to take revenge on somebody, dream is the best time, okay? So that you re release your all anger there and you become happy. Next day morning, you are perfectly okay. You understand? So that means it does its own job. So he says, look, Sopna Jagar Yoho Isha, but in during Sopna, during dream, and Jagger waking partially it is functioning. How? Because it is subject to conditions. So what is the condition? He says, So when you come across, you see, you experience. So here are darsana means sandarsana means samekurpe darsana. Your sense organs means when the desired object comes in contact with sense organs just like ear, eyes, starting with eyes, ear, tongue suppose in deep, deep, uh, deep sleep sorry, in dream so you see a dream having good food, what you did not want or what you could not get it so now your tongue starts enjoying you start seeing something so you wanted to come to Himalaya but you could not come but in sleep you see in uh, sleep while sleeping you would dream I am in Uttarakasi so I have now highlight okay so that you people will come here okay or else if I don't do this marketing nothing will happen okay <laughs> so you will start dreaming wow nice Uttarakasi those who were here wow those days it was very nice I do not know why we came back what do we are doing here we could have continued another 15 days or one month okay <laughs> 
and those who have not come here, like you said, two guys are in India, good for nothing, okay? We have only some excuse, 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 okay? <laughs> one is married, I can understand, okay? Because that fellow has to not convince many people. One fellow is not married, but he has to convince more people, okay? <laughs> Oh, I think Sanjeev, they are, they are not here today, okay. <laughs> so now I am noticing, okay. <laughs> so that fellow has to, because now without getting married, he has to convince many people. He has in after marriage, how many people he will convince? Poor fellow, okay. <laughs> in a joke apart. So coming back here. So in dream, what do we do? So we need to see Hear, taste, touch, all these five organs of perception. When they are in keeping touch with the respected sense objects. And those sense objects have to be desired by me. That's the main condition. Automatically, I am happy. Same thing also with reference to waking state. So that means my happiness or my pleasure, better word, my joy, my pleasure is completely depend upon, not on me, but depends upon what? The desired objects. So there are two levels, desired objects, not only mere objects, nor based mere on the desire. Only when desired object come in touch with, come in contact with the sense organs and of course a punya phalam has to be there. That is the most important aspect. So if punya phalam is not there, even if you have all objects, this present generation, I am sorry to say, why present generation are not happy? They have everything or not. But they are not happy. See, if you just look at your own childhood. Those days, I remember an Indian case I am openly trying to share with you. Like, uh, if we get little bit money, some guest comes or somebody gives some money, or generally they give once in a while. We were so thrilled, so happy. We used to keep that money, we used to plan. In fact, before this happens, any you know, good occasion, we know we are going to get some money from different people. We'll be planning what will be the budget, how much we'll get. You know, we'll be calculating and so happy and enjoying, rejoicing with that money. Nowadays, you hand over to the child. In Indian case, I'm telling you openly, you hand over 500 rupees in that currency. The child will look at you as though you are you know, disrespecting the child. <laughs> I am not telling you jokes. Has no value. And if you give 2000, thank you. You know, very, make a value. Thank you. <laughs> no, nothing. No expression at all. Anything you give them, forget about this. Anything you give them. You give them a one, uh, you know, this electronic gadget, whatever. Thank you. That, that expression you can see that you know because I watch them. Thank you. That genuine smile is not there now. So why it is missing? Because of lack of punya. Can you see this point? This is what I'm I am highlighting it. So I am not able to chase in spite of everything. Because of my lack of a punyam, that's why that person can enjoy more without anything. Because in order to enjoy, you don't need anything. See, one can enjoy while lying down on the road. And I have seen for myself, lying down on the road or on, on a rock or anywhere else is most enjoyable place than on the air, air condition, in, inside the air condition. Because they have nothing to lose, you understand? There is no wallet, there is no phone, there is nothing, you understand? You and you, you and you, nothing else, okay? Here there are hundreds of conditions. Electricity goes away, electricity bill will go up, you understand? <laughs> 
So now it happens. This happens. That happens. So the enjoyment really does not depend upon much if you look at. It is mainly depends upon punya phalam. But however, here is being talked about conditioner. And Ananda Maya, interestingly, is fully functioning during deep sleep. That's why everybody loves to get into sleep. That's why some of you want to go to sleep while listening to me. Oh, you are not allowed to do because you are on camera. Imagine, suppose there is no camera. And especially Italians, okay? Now, this is the best time because they have taken quick lunch, summer. So if you have taken quick lunch, summer and put the air condition on, listen to me. <sighs> That's all, nothing else. First, you listen to it. Then slowly your leg will be stretched, you understand? Then in such a way you will do it, you know? If you make your audio open, you will see what are the sound will get it. Hopefully some, some of you not dream, okay? That is the dangerous man. If you snore, I can accept it, okay? But don't dream, okay? And in the dream, hey, Swami said, don't teach this thing, don't sound that, okay? <laughs> Coming back. So nobody wants to miss the sleep because there, the Ananda Maya here, the kosha, Ananda Maya kosha is fully functioning whereas in other places not like that. Let us read next. Naivayam Ananda Maya Paratma Sopadikatva Prakuter Vikarat Karyat Vaheto Sukurta Kriyaya Vikara Sanghata Samahita Tva Says look, comes the point. Now I am Ananda Maya Paratma Iti. Okay? Because, why he says, now ever, this cannot be. I am Ananda Maya, this Ananda Maya Kosha, as Paratma, as me, as Atma, the Supreme Self. Why it cannot be? So Padikatva. Because it has got its Upadhi. And what is Upadhi? It has three attributes. Priya, Moda, Pramoda. So that means because it keeps changing, sometimes Priya, sometimes Moda, sometimes Pramoda. So that is a gradation. So that is nothing constant. So because it is changing, but I am someone here who is I am, I am changeless. So definitely I cannot be this. And of course, Prakutehe Vikarat Iti. So this is the modification of the Prakriti, Sattva Rajatama Gunaha. And interestingly, says that Sukaryatva Heto. And of course, this is being a product. Punya Phalam is included, okay? And interestingly, Sukruta Kriyaya. So being the product of the good action that we have done. Vikara Sanghataha. And of course, like any other, it is also modification. Like, you know, like it goes through the modifications. And of course, why? It says Vikara Sanghata Samahita Tvat. Because it is embedded with what? Other courses. That's why, like any other courses, this fellow also is part of it. That's why this cannot be called as what? Me. Then what? Let us read the next. 
पंचाना अपिकोषा निषेधे युक्ति श्रुते तेधावधि साक्षी बोधरूपो वशिष्य पंचाणी कोशा निषेधे एंड ऑफकोर्स युक्ति श्रुते सो दैट मीन थ्रू द युक्ति थ्रू द रीजनिंग ऑफकोर्स प्रॉपर रीजनिंग सिस्टमेटिक एंड रिमेम्बर द युक्ति द रीजनिंग द लॉजिक मस्ट बी सपोर्टेड बाय श्रुति नॉट द वे यू वॉन्ट ओके सो ऑल्सो श्रुते in keeping with shruti also in shruti now all this negation nishedha nished when it is being negated what are they panchana api koshana so all the five koshas starting with annamaya till anandamaya now once these are negated what happens now of course now whatever you discover whatever remains that's what निषेधावधि साक्षी बोध रूप अवशिष्य सो वेन यू कीप नेगेटिंग नेगेटिंग नॉट दैट यू नेगेट फॉर द सेक ऑफ नेगेशन सो दैट इज कॉल्ड लॉजिशियन ओके दैट इज कॉल्ड पॉलिटिशियन लाइक एनी पॉलिटिशियन एस्पेशली ऑपोजिशन पार्टी ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड हु आई द नेगेट डू दे नेगेट डू दे ऑपोज फॉर एनी पर्पज आई हैव नेवर सीन ऑपोजिशन लीडर opposes for the sake of some construction constructed things very very rare and whoever does definitely that politician cannot survive at this era when in this era impossible to survive so the job of the opposition leader is to oppose and when they come to the power they exactly do what the previous fellow did <laughs> and if you ask them what they will say He, that time the role was different. Now we are different. You understand? Now we are part of the government because some of the fellows told me openly. Okay, <laughs> this is what we are now. Please, okay. So here is not you negate just for the sake of negation. Because if you start negating, logician also negate. Do you know why? They keep negating, negating, negating. Then what happens? That expresses your bitterness in you. Anything and everything you negate. Because you have come to a conclusion, I have to negate. That was a great philosopher from Chennai, so he was a man of negation. That's why he went through very difficult time towards end of his life. Great person he was. But anything and everything you negate. That's why he ended up no way. Great mind. There was no doubt. He was a great mind. I was having a great mind. So that's why here negation is not for the sake of negation. negation to be done to arrive at a point can you see this point it is like a doctor does operation doctor doctor starts cutting it starts cutting and throwing away few things only those who are up, those areas is affected those part of the body is affected nothing can be done but the purpose of the removing few things from the body is not just for the sake of removing can you see this point Unless you are a different type of doctor, present day, okay? Some of them are doing it, okay? In the name of Corona, that's also nowadays happening in India. You cannot think of. Recently, I saw some viral video that few few fellows go and say, "Look, doctor, we want to see the body." No, it is Corona. So what? We are ready. We are ready to put the PPT kit and we have to see the body. Just show a body for a second. No, no, we cannot. Okay, for it, if you cannot show, at least give a video of our body. Just a one-minute video, please. We don't, don't. We are not interested to go to see. Just make a video and show to us. That's enough. We are happy. Doctor did not show, and there is a big mess. God knows what they did later. On. So that means what? There is some issue. You understand? Because when they are shouting so many people, that means they must have got some internal information. Okay? This news must have leaked some way. So that's why they have they are shouting. Or else only family people will come one or two. Why fifty people are coming and shouting? So that means already some evidence they might have got already. Internal evidence. However, let us not get into. So unless you are a different type of doctor, that's our point. Because in the name of Corona, you cannot think of. Because 
earlier i am sorry to bring this point out earlier for the organs people used to cry were in the queue for many time longer time now for last two years not a single person is waiting for the organs how is it possible all over the world no demand means there is no need for looking for organs how is it possible is a very strange thing to happen now because in the name of corona once you they declare as corona that's all nothing you can do that's why as a rule they should put it when they make it they should make a jeep and they may they, they should make a video and seal it and give it that's this sort of cases should be filed in every government like when you seal a house you seal properly in front of a person both the parties have to be there if there is a dispute in a house how they see is being sealed can the authority do by one side definitely not both the sides have to be there that should be a proper body or a proper authority whereas with reference to corona the body the most precious which has gone to, go, go, gone through some dispute called corona when it is being sealed for ever which cannot be opened anymore how come it is not being done no video or nothing and there is no rule so far as per my knowledge in all over the world is completely monopoly of the medical or pharmaceutical companies how let us not get into this is another angle of law okay how to interpret laws coming back here so that's why what you need to do here is he says look i want you keep negating nishedho nishadavadi then whatever remains avadi whatever remains that is nothing but called sakshi swarupah bodha rupah avashishyate that which witnesses all the five causes and which is bodha rupah in the form of the knowledge and in fact that is b so the negation is done not for the negation but negation is done to understand me better but always we do the negation to strengthen ourselves not to understand ours have you ever said whenever you have said no to understand yourself tell me when did you say no to somebody something to understand yourself better whenever you have said no to strengthen your ego strengthen your stand you know the beautiful joke goes long time i have not used this any story let me share this story popular story long long back we should come back to our story mode and moreover we should start you know writing stories now enough so if any one of you can give me some time every day it will be great i can take 10 minutes i can take and give you one one story so that it can be put on the book format i can really do it this job now i am in a mood let us do something okay coming back this popular story so in a village there was a man there is a young boy who was always disgusted because everybody used to call him fool <laughs> okay murkha <laughs> mood amati <laughs> anyway this is the joke huh? so you are stupid you are good for nothing you are fool all the bad words and he was tired of because nobody could respect he said what's going on so he heard So there is a Swami who is coming and very powerful and he has got lot of siddhis and what not. Then when he heard, so then he said, "Look, I must go and pray, do whatever to be done. I must get some type of blessing from him so that once for all I can handle myself." And he went. He saw so many people, but hiding. He makes sure he made sure that to reach the Swami when nobody is there, and went and caught hold of the leg of the Swami, and cried, cried, and cried. The Swami was really picking up. What is this thing? This is the problem of the Swami. Is okay? So to catch hold of a Swami is very easy. If you can manage to access a Swami, access a Swami and cry. And the problem with the Swami is any Swami. 
whoever cries, the Swami thinks he is right. <laughs> Their mind doesn't work. I don't know. Something is wrong with the Swami. Says, okay. <laughs> However, this fellow went cried, cried. Okay, tell me what happened. Then no, then the <clears throat> problem with the Swami is then the father, father figure or whatever will come up. Okay, don't worry, I am there to protect you because these poor fellows have never protected, so they want to protect everybody. Okay, this is the psychological investment. <laughs> However, the Swami said, okay, don't worry, I will protect you. Tell me what happened. No, this is the problem in the village. Everybody says I am good for nothing. I am stupid. I am poor. What not? Oh, and they said, I don't have brain, I am brainless. Okay, don't worry. I'll give you a mantra. From today onwards, you will be considered as the best person. It will take time, but don't worry, in due course of time, maximum one or two months, you will be considered as a great person. Okay, but one mantra, please remember, don't share this mantra with anybody. Okay, and he taught the mantra very nice. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, secret. Chap chapter is done. But it's an open secret mantra, okay? This that's all. This uh, disciple or this, this fellow became a disciple that moment. So came out. Then next day this Swami left the village. Then he started doing his mantra. Job. Like whoever says whatever. So he applied his mantra. What? If somebody says, hey, look. That person is a great person. Say, Who says he is great? You know, look, he has done it. Can you prove that he has done it? I don't think that he that fellow is a great. Somebody says, no, 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 you're wrong. This is Einstein is a great scientist. How do you know that he is great? I don't think. Can you prove me? So whoever, whatever said, he tried to date. And the man says, okay, let us now have discussion. Let us prove. I have my point, you put your point. And when you start challenging anybody and everybody, give me proof, give me proof. Definitely nobody can give you all the proof. And whatever the person says, you will go negative. Even if you have hundreds of proof. No. Can you see? Do you have this proof? Then you ask proof on proof. You understand? <laughs> so what is the validity of the proof? So I just started asking people, started thinking, what is happening? This fellow was dumped good for nothing now. Something has happened. Then he said, yes. In fact, I got the blessings of the Swami. Swami said, look, with my blessings, we will be the most learned person in this locality. And it's working. And day by day, he was considered as a great learned person in the whole locality. People started coming to, you know, see him, such a great person and whatnot. And of course, few years passed away. This Swami again visited the, uh, that village. So when he visited the village and everyone said, look, there is a person because the Swami changed, changed his shape, everything has changed. So there is a person, such a great person. Oh Swami, you are such a nice person. I think we should, you should go and meet him. That person never comes to meet anybody. Oh, then Swami said, okay, really? Oh, very nice. Then, in fact, somebody went and to look, there is a Swami has come, why can't we? No, who is Swami? How do you know that he is a Swami? <laughs> As usual, you understand? Then when this message reached, okay, this Swami said, okay, let me go and see him, who is this person, let us go. What is not? What is wrong with it? Then when the Swami came, Swami seeing him understood, oh, 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 oh. that means my mantra is working, okay? <laughs> so when he saw him from a distance, okay, and went and said, as usual, said, oh Swami, how are you? As usual. Yes, you have come to discuss, how do you know that you are a Swami? Swami, prove me. So when everything he started doing, so then the Swami was very nice. He asked, all of you will you please go away so that I want to talk to him personally. Please, all of you go. So of course, everyone left. He said, hey, stupid. I am the same Swami who gave you the boon, okay? <laughs> Keep quiet, okay? Try to apply on me. At least you can, have, whatever you have done, you have done enough. Now, please stop applying this. This is the end of it, okay? <laughs> So, what I am trying to highlight here is by negating, we try to strengthen ourselves. Yes, socially, maybe mentally, please understand, socially, maybe mentally, we strengthen ourselves. But remember, Emotionally, we never strengthen ourselves whenever we negate. 
the negation brings down you emotionally. Have you not observed this point? Whenever you have tried to negate anything, emotionally you have become weaker. That's why negation is not healthy at all. And interestingly, in religious field, in religious dogma, negation is the key factor. Starting with spirituality, Monday. Don't do this, don't do that. Can you see this point? Because through the negation, they want to make sure you, you can prosper any other way, intellectually, socially, physically, all the way you must prosper, prosper. But you should not grow up in emotionally. Because once you grow up emotionally, there is a need for you to go to any religious person or religious place. Remember this point. If there is emotional growth, will there be any need to go anywhere and hang around? That's why I see in temples, I see in churches, I see in masses, I see all the religious places. Make sure difference whatever religion you belong to. Only emotionally handicapped, emotionally challenged people hang around. Have you not observed this point? That's why what we need to do here is never ever allow the negation to take over. But you must use the negation part to strengthen your understanding. Whenever you say no, ask yourself, am I negating just to see myself or to prove myself? To understand myself or to cover up my emotions or cover up my insecurity? Can you see this point? See, because this is what we do. Anytime I say no, first is to cover up my emotions, to cover up my insecurity, to protect, to create a shield. Psychologists will say very nicely, hey, to say no, you have to have more strength than to say yes. Saying yes is very common. Anybody and everybody can say yes. You must learn to say no. Thank you. I respect one aspect. But please understand in the process, don't you destroy yourself emotionally. That's why one should really learn to grow out of it. Of course, this, what is happens? Now starts the verse, next verse onwards. We'll just read and stop it. The description of Atma. Yo yo matma swayam jyoti panchakosha vilakshanaham Avastatraya saksi sanrivikaro niranjanam Sadananda sabhikyaya swatmatvena vipasita Which we will see tomorrow. Let's go.